Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got the Elevation Koi with us today. You can fold it, bend it, do whatever you want with it. The flight numbers are three, four, negative one, oh, so it's probably gonna have a little bit of a turn to it. Let's go see if we turn this thing over or if we can get it to fly pretty well. So I also mentioned, it's just me and Jacob today. Ethan's a jit and he's at college. And Tyler's in Virginia up at Battle of Bedford TD, so he's staying at Hunter's house. Pretty cool, what's up, yeah. foundation team? How's it going? We challenge you to a uh, little, Bucky Bros battle. Yeah, I got yeah. the Team Biggin boys. I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So if y'all ever like through the interceptor, you know that if you try to like crank that thing, it would just like go straight into the ground. Doesn't matter how much nose up you put it on, it's still just like try to hit the ground. So I'm gonna just try to hit this kind of easy, just see how well it flies, not necessarily get a lot of power out of it. Kind of put some ante on it by accident, uh, but it kind of held its line pretty well and definitely kind of did a nice little turnover line, that's for sure. That's a nice flight to it. Jacob's telling me that I need to try to forehand it. Okay. <laughs> what the? That might have been one of your best. That was literally like the shortest forehand I've ever thrown in my life. <laughs> Other than like a little pitch out. <laughs> you should cut to all the forehand shots you've thrown in this. <laughs> So it was weird though, cause like usually like when you throw a forehand, you know, to have a good grip on it, you need to have like the disc like all the way up into like your thumb there. But like for this one, it kind of like slips out at the very end when you like try to throw it because like it's so floppy. There's a limited amount of power you can put on that thing. As soon as you put too much power, it's just gonna turn over and cut. I think the biggest thing you can get away from this is that these discs aren't for driving necessarily. They're all for like kind of like pitch outs. If you just need something to sit real fast, that's what the disc is made to do. So the Koi overall, definitely probably worth the spot in your bag. It's nice for up shots, forehand and backhand. I think it's great just learning how to control your shots, controlling your speed, controlling the angle of it, because that's honestly something that I need help with, and I think something that maybe a bunch of y'all need help with as well. So even something like that, get an interceptor or a koi, just to try to figure out your shot shape. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your bell notifications, comment down below what else you'd like us to review in the future, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.